Hi dreamers! Ready to make these delectable delights inspired by spring colors? They're super easy. And I'm also collaborating with Carrie from Cuppy and Cake. She makes some of the most beautiful edible works, as you can see right here. Hello everyone, I'm Carrie, and I'm a cake artist at Cuppy and Cake. I make cakes, cupcakes, cookies, and all things sweet. Today I'll be showing you how to make some cookies. Let's start off with a refreshing grapefruit lemonade spritzer. All right, so you will need a cutting board, some knives, grapefruit, lemon, sprinkles, honey, club soda, and sugar. Go ahead and start with your grapefruit. Slice it open down the middle and remove as many seeds as possible. It's okay if there's a few left because you can always strain them out. Then begin by squeezing the grapefruit juice out into a large bowl. You'll want to squeeze out about two and a half grapefruits to make enough juice. Moving on to your lemon, cut it in half and remove the seeds and squeeze about 10 medium sized lemons into the bowl. You can just combine it with the grapefruit juice. To sweeten this up, add 2.5 tablespoons of stevia. I'm using stevia because it's a natural low calorie sweetener without any extra fillers. Go ahead and pour all the juice into a pitcher, then fill it up to the top with club soda. And now slowly mix everything together. It's gonna get extra bubbly. For the glasses, I wanted to add an extra sweet touch. Start by pouring some honey into the bowl and lining the rim or a glass. Afterwards, just place it half down in sprinkles to decorate the rim. As you can see here, I placed some raspberries in a cute heart-shaped ice cube tray overnight. These little guys will be the perfect addition to your drink. All right, just pour in your spritzer and top it off with a festive straw or some herbs or lemon. Just be sure to pop the pitcher in the fridge for a refreshing treat. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make these cute lemon tarts that look like spring flowers. Start with a rolled out pie crust and flower shaped cookie cutter. Press the shape into the dough hard enough to create clean edges. Then take each cutout and shape them into a mini muffin pan, folding down the petals over the top of the pan. From there, you can add this lemon jelly to give it that sweet touch. Go ahead and place them into the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. You want the petals to turn into a golden brown color. You'll know when they're ready when they look like this. Now you can sprinkle some powdered sugar on top and enjoy your treat. Try making a face mask completely out of natural ingredients. I'm just gonna use here plain Greek yogurt, buttermilk, vanilla cake batter, a banana, lemon, and honey. Start with your yogurt and begin pouring in the cake batter and buttermilk. Mix up all the ingredients until they're fully blended in. Then take half a banana and mash it up into a paste. Just add this into your bowl with a bit of honey and lemon, which will also help even out your skin tone and keep acne at bay. Mix it all up until it becomes a good consistency. Take a medium-sized stippling brush and tap it on your face. You want just enough to let all the beneficial nutrients soak into your skin. Your skin is going to feel soft and refreshed. Moving on to these cute, adorable cookies. Come on, how cute are they? Well, Cuppy and Cake will show you how to make them. All right, so prepare out your sugar cookie mixture. This is pretty simple to make. You just need flour, butter, and sugar. Place baking paper on the top and bottom, and then roll it out to a one centimeter in thickness. Use a lemon cookie cutter to create your cookies, and then bake them in the oven. For the tops of the cookies, roll out yellow fondant with a rolling pin. With the same lemon cookie cutter, cut lemon shapes out of the fondant. Add this to the tops of your cookie and use water to help the fondant stick better to the cookie. Pinch the edges of the fondant and shape it down on top of the cookie. Using a black edible marker, draw on your favorite emoji faces and bring your lemons to life. So cute! To finish off these cookies, take small, rounded circles of pink fondant and use a drop of water to stick onto the cookies to create cheeks. Check out these watercolor cookies. They're gorgeous, right? These are made from sugar cookies with white fondant on top. Use edible food coloring to paint on desired colors and make flower patterns on the fondant. Using a brush, create semicircle strokes like this. This will help create the effect of roses. These cookies are kind of like a blank canvas and it's there for you to create art. Voila, you're done. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial on how to make cute kawaii face lemon cookies or some watercolor floral cookies. They are both really easy and simple to make, so make sure you share your creations with Michelle Farn or myself, because I'd really love to see them. So, are you loving this? Well, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more lifestyle videos like this. Remember to always stay sweet and happy baking. Good luck! Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're digging it. Either way, I love you. Mwah. Thank you so much, dreamers. 
Bye. We are